today we are going to start with the second chapter of class 12th business studies and the name of the chapter is principles of management so before starting with the lesson let us understand the concept and the meaning of the term principles of management so the term principle refers to the managerial principles which are generally a guideline for decision making or behavior so these principles of the management act as a guideline or act as a help which the managers can look forward to when they are about to take any decision or how they are supposed to behave or react in a particular situation or in a simple terms we can say that what they are supposed to do in a particular situations are all guided together by these principles of management therefore they are called or stated as the guidelines which help the managers in making the decision or regarding the behavior which they need to show in certain situations like for example while deciding about the promotion of an employee a manager may consider priorities such as seniority whereas the others may follow the principle of merit so when it comes to promotion there are two techniques which the manager can use he can either go for the seniority of the employee or he can also evaluate the performance of the employee so these are the two criteria on which he can decide upon the promotion of the employees so here the principle of management is guiding him that he has got two options for promotion and he can choose either of the two based upon his choice so this is how a principle of management basically helps the manager to take a decision and therefore it is called a guideline or a guiding line or a guiding star or say a guiding light which helps the manager in order to understand that how he needs to behave in certain situations as well as it also helps him to take particular decision and it must be also noted very clearly that these principles of management are generally based on human behavior and that is why they should not be much rigid and should be applied with creativity given the demands of the situation so you know that human behavior is not similar for everybody each and every individual working in an organization has got different personalities and that is the reason why principles of management cannot be rigid in nature from institution to institution business enterprises to enterprises these principle of management keeps on changing or it should be modified or altered according to the demand of the situation because human behavior is not static it is not the same in nature and therefore it should be applied very creatively as well as sensibly because it deals with how human behave and why is it very important to deal very creatively and with at most um, appropriately because we know that both human behavior as well as the technology will affect the business either in a positive manner or in a negative manner we know that the human resource is a very important factor which affects the working of business and if that factor is not properly dealt with then what will happen the people or the employees working in the organization will not work properly they will not work sincerely they will only work for their personal agendas and hence organizational objectives will not be achieved and that is the reason why in order to deal with human behavior certain principles of management are laid down so that the managers are able to take the best decision as well as also determine the type of behavior he has to put forward or show in front of the people or his employees in order to deal in certain situation because human behavior is not the same in nature as well as it also affects the performance of the business now we are going to discuss the difference between the principles of management as well as techniques and the comparison of principles with 
values basically these terms these three terms are interlinked to each other but their meaning is completely different if we talk about the term techniques the techniques are generally the procedures or methods which involves a series of steps to be taken to accomplish a desired goals so you can say that techniques are generally the methods and the procedures which consists of various steps and it tells you that how the things are to be done and these principles generally act as a guidelines to take decisions or actions while practicing techniques so you can say or you can state that techniques are generally the methods and procedures which shows us the steps which needs to be carried out for for a proper functioning at the same time these principles act as a guidance or guidelines or on how you can perform these technical functions and when we talk about values we must have heard this word values generally moral values and all are basically what we have practiced in the society so values are something which are acceptable or desirable and they have moral connotations we know that as human beings we all have some or the other kind of moral values our consciousness and whenever we practice an activity we generally keep the moral values with us and we act upon the things which are generally suited or which are generally um, say which are generally promoted by the values which are within us so you can say that values are general rules for behavior of individual in a society formed through common practice so for example in india we are into a practice that whenever we see elderly people we generally touch their feet are we being taught by them or are we being said or forced by anyone to do that no because since our childhood we had been seeing that we had been practicing that and this is actually a general practice which is prevailing in the society and that is why we are doing it we don't know the technical side of it we do not know the modern side of it or advanced side of it but we are doing because we had been seeing it and practicing it since our childhood days and that is why values are generally a set of behaviors which are commonly practiced within the society but at the same time the principles of management are formed after certain research in work and situation which is also technical in nature so as i told you in the case of values the technical term is not present we are being doing it just because we had been watching our seniors do or our elders do and it has been followed throughout the tradition but it is not in the case of the principles of management they are being framed after a lot of research work after a lot of experiences as well as from past performances we learn and then we have formed the principles of management but it should be taken care that the values cannot be completely avoided by the business enterprise why because you must have heard that in order to conduct any business function the business needs to be honest it needs to be sincere and it has to fulfill some of the social responsibilities towards the society like for example if you are selling a tobacco or cigarette on that packet itself it is written that the consumption of this product is injurious to health which means you are giving a statutory warning to the public that this consumption can be dangerous for health so here you are fulfilling your social objective also that people should be made aware that these products are injurious to health but since you are in business enterprise you are manufacturing it and you are selling it but you are not forcing anybody to purchase the product and consume them so here you are keeping up with the values and the social responsibilities which you have towards the society so this was the difference between principles of management and techniques as well as values so in today's class we had discussed about what is the meaning of the principles of management which states that the principles of management are general guidelines which help the manager to take certain decisions 
as well as it also acts as a guidance towards how the managers should behave in a particular situation because it is related with dealing in human behavior and human behavior is not similar in nature but it may affect in a bad way to the enterprise if it is not dealt with in a proper way so this was about the concept of principles of management